Hello and welcome back to Q's tonight. Have you missed us? Because it was real quiet in studio last Sunday, but we've got some guests today. How are you guys doing? Woo! And I'm joined by my lovely sidekick, Jonna Van Vranken. Jonna, how are you? How is the cat sitting going? Oh, Sammy, I'm so glad you asked. The cats are wonderful. Big Chunky is just as fat as ever. He's huge, but so, so soft. Nothing sounds soft like a cat. No, that's not it for me. But I can sympathize with the Big Chunky. I've been feeling that way lately. Well, good luck in your animal endeavors, Jonna. Now, this is a topic of discussion long overdue here at Syracuse. One of campus's most controversial figures, the Candy Man, is pretty upset right now. He just shared a post saying his Uber rating just dropped again, 0.01, for the second time this month. I had a pretty long weekend and I'm feeling kind of cozy on this couch. So, Jonna, why don't you take over this monologue? Why could this be happening? Didn't our parents always tell us, don't take candy from a stranger? Syracuse is most notorious Uber driver, the Candy Man, has become quite infamous around campus. And let me tell you, his Instagram is a fever dream. He's even asking his passengers if they follow him. I don't know, is that the Uber to influencer pipeline? If you guys haven't ridden with him or been subjected to the Halloween in April vibe, literally look at the stuff he's posting. I cannot with these Chucky videos. Why is he putting a doll on Phi Sig's door and then editing creepy music over it like the extra step? This is screaming really, really bad things. But Sammy, I know you're in Phi Sig. What are your thoughts? I can't lie, Jonna, the group chat was going off. It was kind of scary, and as house manager, I feel a, some sort of responsibility. All I could picture is someone just walking out the door and seeing the Candyman videoing a Chucky doll. Like, who would want to walk out to that site? That would be the biggest jump scare ever, and I'd definitely be driving someone to Krauss after that. In all honesty, despite the predatory vibes, he is so, 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 so philanthropic to the Greek community. After all, he's the go-to designated driver any day of the week. We could use some strong language on this man, but I'm going to avoid that because this is just a dude for passion with Uber. But like Candyman, please, really, really wrong approach. So, so alarming to go through his Instagram and see a 3 a.m. Sandman video and then a birthday shout out for a sorority girl who happens to be in the car. Odd AF. But preach all your love to the Syracuse students. Just take it back a notch. I've never personally had the privilege of riding in the candy machine, but my biggest takeaway is that it's heaven for somebody baked. I rest my case. Now, John, I have taken two trips actually with the Candyman, and to be clear, I wasn't baked. Despite his Instagram content, I gotta say, don't knock it till you try it. This guy's got Twizzlers in his backseat, he's got Hershey's, he's got anything you want. And that's my only exception to taking candy from a stranger. And stalking the Candyman socials is just another procrastination technique. But to be honest, at this point in the semester, I just can't be bothered to pay attention in class. There are a million better things to do other than listen to a professor lecture me, not to me, and make me read the textbook they wrote for the class that is only available at the school's bookstore for some reason for a small $300. Yeah, Sammy, I definitely had a teacher like that, but I'm not gonna lie to you, I am the kid who sits in the front, not like the complete front, but just a little bit to the side, but I'm paying attention and I'm typing really loudly. Part of me feels like it's a disservice to myself if I lose the work ethic, but hey, you do you. I'm not judging. I know you're trying to like show off to your professor, like, oh, I'm a note taker, but one of my pet peeves is loud typers or just anybody loud in class at all, but Jonna, that totally could not be me. My time is spent differently in class, like going through Instagram and my new personal favorite, stalking people from high school on LinkedIn. But I guess it's the thought that counts. Oh, Sammy, definitely the thought that counts. And honestly, at least you showed up. Absolutely. For me, class is filled with texting friends on my laptop and trying everything in my power to stay awake. I've got an iced coffee in hand every single class, every single day. But I've actually had a few instances this semester of my volume staying up on my computer, unfortunately, right at the beginning. And the swoosh when you go off, when you, you know, the whoo, when you send a message, it just has happened one too many times. I keep getting eyeballed. It's the same professor every time. And now I'm actually participating in that class because I'm feeling like I'm not going to do too hot in the participation category. I bet the people who sit next to you read some really interesting texts. And do you even know how? Are you going through my phone? 
Jonna, this is just, no. I would just get mad when the professors are like, everybody phones away, we're paying you, bud. Oh, yeah, I hate when professors get mad at that. I can't go on my phone, did you pay for it? Sometimes I need a mental break for my intense note typing. For I'm waiting for the day when they try to take it away like back in high school. But in the meantime, you mind your business, teach your lecture, and let me spend my time how I choose. Preach, Shauna, preach that. But school is just one big ick in itself. I don't think anyone is going to disagree, but what may be more controversial is Cuse Knight's Dance Moms Pyramid of Icks in boys on Syracuse's campus. Now, starting at the bottom, sorry, I'm a little in the way. We've got essay writing, come on. When boys have to say a joke for the second time, actually, I don't know why that went backwards. But anyways, at the bottom, for when boys have to say a joke for the second time, that's tough. If you say a joke and no one laughs, it's a bad joke. We heard it and chose not to laugh. Doesn't mean we want to hear it again. It sucked the first time, bud. I promise it will suck even more the second time. Next up, we have SoundCloud rappers. Okay, we all know someone who thinks they can rap with their barely eighth grade level poetry over royalty free YouTube beats. It's not something we can honestly say is music. It's, it's a really uncomfortable moment when you're sitting in a circle listening to their song and have to pretend it's not hot garbage to be polite. But any sliver of attraction left for that man, out the door, it's gone. Now, John, I actually know a SoundCloud rapper from high school myself. He told me he was in a gang, and I just don't want to unlock any more of that memory. But this one's a little more underground. Let me put you onto this. Essay writing, got it backwards, my bad. And it's not the first ick that comes to mind, but imagine this. There's an English essay due tomorrow that he, of course, pushed off to the last minute. Filled with stress, he climbs into that twin XL bed, sitting there crisscross ap applesauce with his roommate just beside him. He's trying to think of a thesis statement, and he's calling his mom for last minute help. This image is way too vivid. Now, Jonna, I want you to get over here for the next two oh. on the pyramid. We've got men posting selfies with music in the background. So imagine this, you're tapping through Insta Stories or Snapchat and yeah. boom, he's got his selfie. He's, he's taken one, two, three, four times. How many times do you think he's taken a selfie? He's Probably redoing more it. more than a woman would. Yeah, he's redoing Way it, okay? More. And then he's got the music in the background. He's going through Spotify. He's like, what's in the rap caviar playlist? Ooh, you know what I'm saying? Like, so what's true. good? So he's putting true. that music in the background, and he posts it, but he's got a filter on it. You know, like one of those weird Like filters. one of those Snapchat yeah. filters? He's like the dog ears? out his face. Oh, oh not the dog it's ears. Rough. Dog it's Dog ears rough. was like 2016, I'm feeling. But imagine this. He's got a 100 emoji on there. Ooh, ooh. I can't even imagine that. It's but so often paired with the fire emoji, we've got the 100 emoji. And used for story selfie posts. This one sucks. Have you ever seen this emoji used in any context that didn't physically make you ill? No, you haven't. Under no circumstances is using the 100 emoji appropriate or acceptable. So Apple, remove it entirely. You have 24 hours. It's really tough not to be the favorite emoji. But of course, we have our number one pick. Drum roll, please, live audience. And might I say, ick. It's the chasing the ping pong ball. Oh my god, this is so humiliating for everyone. And there's no possible way to do it in a fashion that isn't really damaging to the ego. No. The risks of this one are very, very high right now. As the weather heats up and we approach darty season, outdoor ping pong could have frat guys chasing the balls down walnut. Easily the biggest ick of them all. Jonna, we can't leave out the girls either. Oh. We aren't sexist here. Yeah. Everyone's guilty here and no, no one is safe. But on a more riveting note, coming up on Cues tonight, we get to know one of Syracuse's favorite artists, Live to Find. Stay tuned. back everyone I am so so happy to be joined by my wonderful Liv. Fine Liv how are you doing? I'm doing well how about y'all? We're doing just fantastic here now I do have to ask how did you kind of get into the music scene and how did you meet the other members of your band? 
Um, so I've always been, I've been songwriting for five years now, and I've kind of like picked up guitar and put it down throughout multiple times in my life, but I really got into it and into writing over COVID, just like past time um, and just like other people in my life were kind of influential in that. And coming to Syracuse last year was my freshman year because I'm a sophomore. So we didn't have any house shows, but typically like my major, because I'm in um, New House for band year, um, we usually have house shows like all the time, but last year we couldn't because of COVID. So I kind of just saw all these people performing and I was like, I used to be really, like, I used to have a lot of stage fright, so I was really hesitant. It doesn't I never seem like that now at all. Thank you're, you. You're just wonderful. We all love you here. Thank you so much. That's very sweet. Um, yeah, no, it's it's been really cool, and I just, like, decided, you know what, like, I've wanted to do this forever, and I, like, scouted out the most amazing players here, and they happened to be my close friends, so. That's just yeah. awesome. And Live For Now was born. <laughs> Love it. Live Define, I have a question. So we know that the Syracuse music scene, very, very lively. How would you describe your experiences as a band here in Syracuse? Honestly, I've had like the time of my life, um, to say the least, but I've been like, I don't know, we've done two house shows at the Harrington, which is a popular house venue. And we did one performance. My friends made a documentary, um, Erica Negrini and Janisha Mariah and Christy, I forget her last name. They made a documentary called Womenifesto and we performed at that. Um, honestly, it's just been really fun to kind of just hang out with your friends and then play music and then get paid. Like, that's the dream. Definitely, you've had a lot of playing opportunities. So what sets you apart from the other bands or musicians here on campus? I'm gonna be honest, like I share a lot of band members with other bands, but I think that my writing is different. Um, not in like a better or worse way, but I think um, it's, R&B infused like singer songwriter. We're bringing in different elements. We have like a reggae song. We try to um, change up the covers every time. And I don't know, I'm just working towards making this more collaborative because like obviously like I'm the first person people see and like my name is in the band name, but I want this to be a project that's all of my friends because they really make me sound good. Like I couldn't do this without them. That's awesome. So heartwarming. <laughs> um, so you have all of the input from all the other people, but somebody coming in, no idea who you guys are, how would you describe the music to them? Kind of what I was saying, um, yeah, definitely like R&B meets singer-songwriter meets like a little bit of like indie rock um, with other like inspirations. Um, but. I don't know, I think we're also kind of working on our sound. I'm, I've been writing a lot um, and collaborating a lot with my other band members. Um, so I think we're still figuring it out and I've been trying to tailor my music to what I think Syracuse community will enjoy because like the house scene is crazy here. Like it's incredible and um, they tend to like rock a lot and just like uh, indie rock and psych rock and um, just every every part of that genre, um, just upbeat kind of stuff. So I'm definitely trying to make things um, instrumentally just more upbeat. That's awesome. Now you're obviously really close with your band members, some of your closest friends. What is your favorite song that you've worked on together? Hmm. I think um, the one we played, Body Count, has been really cool. Um, I've really seen it come to life. Um, so shout out everyone for making that happen. But I think one that was really cool to see completely shift from like three different songs I had in a notebook that I combined together and um, Julian like came up with this like this guitar riff that he's um, known since he was like younger like and just had it in his head. Um, and then Jesse, Jared, and Nick just made it all reggae. Like I think, um, and that's like definitely cl uh, like one of a like a crowd pleaser like for our set. So I think that's probably like my favorite collaboration effort, and I definitely want to have more of that in the future. That's awesome. Now, can you tell me a little bit about your music blog? And I know you have some stickers. Are you selling them? 
Um, so I'm getting in a new batch very soon. So I will be, I think I'm going to try to hand them out because like free, pub, free publicity and just like get it as like everywhere as possible because um, I don't know, I just want people to know what it is. It's called Eighth Note, um, also known as Eighth Note Presents on Instagram and TikTok. And then there's like a Squarespace site for it. Um, it's honestly like I've been working on that a year before the band even started. So I've been working on that since December of 2020. And it's basically minimalism takes music curation. So it's eight song playlists. They each have a different theme. I've really got into expand it, especially with content creation and video editing. Um, I just make these compilations and get to feature my friends, um, which is really cool and connect with people. Like I'll go to a show and I'll try to talk to the musician and be like, I put you on my blog. That's fantastic. You are just so talented and amazing. We're so happy Stop that you were able it. to talk with us today. <laughs> but next up, Liv and her band, Liv for now, will be trying out some snacks from Marshall Street's newest store. So stay with us. Welcome back, Houstoniters, our very, very loyal fans. Now we're all here together to try out some of our new snacks, right, Shauna? I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Last time I was on air for this show, I almost threw up from trying <laughs> dining hall food. So let's hope oh. this is a little bit better. My apologies. Yeah, I she tried actually my best. picked I out tried the food. My best. She picked out the food for me. So let's get right into this. Who wants to pick their first snack to try? We'll just pass down the line. Nick. Introduce yourself a little. Let's oh, just say, hey, good. what's going on? My name's Peg. All right, guys, look at this pack. I am the drummer of Live For Now. Fantastic. And I want some Ritz. <laughs> Ritz? Yeah. What's in that? Can you see? Uh, lemon. lemon. Oh my, what an interesting Ooh, it combo. Looks like an it's Oreo. like, it's got the neon yellow cream. I don't mm, know. Show, I don't think a that. lemon Ritz really is the move. Amazing. Do the, do the whole like. Uh, yeah, do the hand behind it. Yeah. The <laughs> influencer. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, good job. So good. All right, let's crack That's this definitely open. not whatever you guys are talking about. <laughs> oh, okay, cute. Look at that. Here, I'll open one half. You open <laughs> the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing. Okay, that's pretty good. Like that. Amazing. They're so good. products. They should sponsor us on Marshall yeah. Street. Yeah. All right. Straight up here, Charlie. Everyone we take one. Yeah, and we're all we going to do them. a oh, rating of them. Mm -hmm. We're going to come Ooh. to a general consensus. Pass me that last cookie. Yes, queen. Okay, so Wait, you smell it like a little bit tart. It's oh. giving uh, the lemon mm. Girl Scout cookie. You, it's good. Like the, uh, it's not that bad. Really you know those, like, <laughs> you know the animal cookies? But like the, the, the non like, like pink and, not the pink and white ones, just the <laughs> like yeah, gingerbread yeah. Wow. The one with the zoo on the front. Mm -hmm. I'm really impressed. Yeah. Animal lemon like. Are you talking about animal crackers? Uh -huh. Crackers. Uh -huh. Same yeah. brand though. <laughs> They're fine. They're I know what you're really talking about. Yeah. I really like and these that. are good. They remind me kind of like a wafer. Mixed like with a, the sweet. Like a lemon wafer Wild. or something. It's kind of good. That was a good pick. That was a very good pick. All right, who's going to pick next? You get to choose who picks next. Yo, it's gone. Go down the line. Julian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, are we rating them? No. All right, what, yeah, let's do a rate. What I'm are we gonna, gonna give the general? This is an eight, I think. You yeah, think it's an eight? I'd say it's a seven. Seven and a half. I'm gonna go with seven also. I think they're better <laughs> than <laughs> oh. So we're thinking like seven no, and a half like out of four. ten. I'm going. <laughs> another I think it's we're like eight, eight, eight and a half. I'm, I'm going nine. Like yeah. Or oh he's going nine. He's going nine. He's confident. He is confident about his answer too. All right, next one. What are we doing? I really want to try the salmon chips. Really badly. I love salmon. I love salmon so much. All right, he's getting the I first bite. I don't like bite. salmon, so it could be. Like it could be me. Yeah. Yeah. 
Can I open them? Like across there we go. the way. <laughs> oh my god, oh, they what smell. a smell. Ooh, okay. Interesting smell. Um, I don't know I'm about scared. this one. I love salmon. Interesting smell. I don't know. Don't cheese. worry, live audience. We'll be but passing so this out no. to you later. Oh my god. I don't think I can eat this. <laughs> Actually, I'll try. Bro, I, yeah, try it. Yeah, really bad. I'm not gonna smell it. I'm worried about this. I don't like no. salmon. Water. So this I, not I think this is bad. Not an amazing chip. <laughs> it's not terrible, but it doesn't really remind me of salmon. It is definitely much. not yeah. salmon. Oh my god. Barbecue. Yeah, it's yeah. Like barbecue. Is this a coconut yeah. beet, yeah. by the way? Coconut beet. Coconut beet. Like beet. Bacon. Or what is that? <laughs> that could be a sorrow. I don't know. Dude, it smells like bacon. Is it good? What bacon do you eat? I don't mind eating the salmon. I don't like that. He's like, I don't like the chip. That one's a four. I would, yeah. I would say like four. It's just like a neutral, it's a very neutral. It tastes Maybe like bacon chips. too. I'd say it's like it's a fine. three and a half. I'm Smoked a big pickle bacon. chip fan. Have you guys had ketchup yeah. chips before? Oh, those are no. good. Yeah. They're so what? good. I love ketchup. They're so chips. good. All right, so this is like a four we're deciding on. We should like yeah. waterfall one of these things. I say two. A two? The, the band leader says three. This guy's a tough critic. Yo, I gotta say, yo. he's a tough critic. I was excited, but, you know. Babe, you want to pick one for us? It tastes like smoked bacon. I don't know. You want to do that one? Try it out. milk. Is this the Mars? Is it like a? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it sounds yeah. good. Are we about to? Are we about to? Chug it. Chug it. Are we waterfall? I don't know. Yeah, we can waterfall. So we should go back to high school milk. sports. <laughs> on the it's side. literally that's like oh, you can nice. squeeze that shit yep. in your mouth. I think you have to take the plastic off. You have to literally suck it. Like. No, I don't want to share this with anyone. Who's gonna be the brave smoker? <laughs> yeah, they're right? the oh. <laughs> They Come got a on. protective seal. Yeah. Come on. Do you need help? <laughs> no, I think I'm okay. Like, <laughs> we, we, I think I can get it. I'm like, oh. do this. What? This is gonna be fine. It looks extra dark. All right, we gotta get we gotta get one person to try it at least. Shake it, uh, shake well, shake well. Oh! Shake well. oh. <laughs> Not that everywhere. well, don't shake that well. All right, there we go. Let's squeeze it, do the squeeze. <laughs> oh, that's amazing! Do you like it? It's pretty good. It's just like chocolate milk. I no. Chocolate milk. You know, you know. You know. <laughs> <laughs> we need napkins in studio. We need napkins <laughs> in studio. I'm gonna get invited back. No, I know. So oh cool. god, I love that. Yeah, that is just fantastic. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is a team bonding moment. Oh gosh. I'm, I'm all on it. You can go fast, because I'll just get like some cups. I'll finish it. I want it. You said I want I'm gonna finish it. No, no, you can't. Cut back. It's an eight. eight. Yeah, we can split it. Hey, it's an eight. Okay. Five. Wow, it seems right. like we really I mean, enjoyed the food reviews. Like the well, guys, what is that? An eight? Pretty good overall. Five. Five. Nine. All right. Oh my god. All the time, John and I have to go. Put them up. Ten. Five tonight. X. It's a ten. It's a 10. Okay. X, X, X. Good. Let me try but this. stay Let me try tuned this. to watch an in studio performance <laughs> from Live For Now. You won't want to miss it, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.
Tell you. 